making a vanilla milkshake. Does that mean something? Oh shit! Apple Shaft! They're in the trees! Go! Vehicle down, taking fire from the left! Enemy behind the rock! Left side! God damn it! The Russian Paris? Real Russians, what does that mean? Maybe they're working for Kafarov. Look, either way, Steve, I am concerned that we are slightly overmatched here. We got a job to do. It's nukes? It's misfit. Let's go talk about it. Russian transport! Holy fucking shit! Oh, we can't go through them. No way, no how. Enemy units down there setting up. 
Airdrop rules out a straight route. So what the hell's going on here? They're here for the same reason we are, Sergeant. We at war with Russia now, is that what's happening? Are you fired upon? Yes. Doctrine says you can return fire if fired upon. That's not war. Not technically. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm saying we need to get there first. You think the Russians are here just because? They're covering their asses. We know they're working with the PLR. Now let's move it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna finish one war by starting another. That is our fucking standing. Montez, you heard the orders. Let's go! Can't go through them. No way, no how. Fall in and prepare to move. The targets. Coax. Troops. We have to get to the other side of the valley ASAP. We have solid intel on Russian infantry moving in a northerly direction. They're tipping their hand to Kavrov's location. He's who we want. He's who we came for. We're pounding across to the next checkpoint. Understood? Contact. Tree line to our front. Troops in the open. 200. Rapid rate. Enemy behind cover. Front.
get over here! Column movement, eyes open. Roger. On me. Let's go. Mark the gun! Move right! Move right! Spread out on the right flank! Covering fire!
Sergeant Campbell, Sentra. Sir, we are not equipped to take on a Russian brigade. Maybe we ought to rethink this. This is maneuver warfare, Sergeant. If you don't like it, you can go join the fucking Air Force. General, you have never let me down before. Now I fully expect you to accomplish this task. Absolutely, sir. No, Steve, look, I'm sorry, but that is completely unreasonable. I have serious reservations about this. Sergeant Campo, Blackburn, push on as required. That's fast air! Is that ours, is it? Shit! Did he see us? Did he see us? Oh, he's doubling back. Holy fucking shit! Oh, my God! God! Steve. <laughs> All right. I know what you're thinking. Maybe if I'd have done something different, they'd both still be here. This is a war. And things happen in a war. Now, we still have a job to do. We have to get to camp for and we have to get to him first, whether the nukes are there or not. There's no way. There's just us. It's you. It's on you, Marines. Are you coming with me? So you lost most of your unit in the valley against the Russians. Who survived? Montez and myself, Cole, some others. Did Captain Cole get your guys killed? What? No. Isn't that how you felt about it? Deep down? You know, in Bosnia, I lost four of my closest friends. Rocket attack. The guy that was on OP was sleeping. 
was fucked up for six months. Thought about killing him. We all talked about it. I still think about how he failed us. I'd feel sorry for you, but I feel more sorry for your buddies. Because they never knew who you really were. They would have understood. Would you? Would you understand turning on your buddy? For the enemy? The Russians weren't our enemy. They killed your fucking friends! Hold on, hold on. Now, at the same time you were in the field in Iran, we intercepted burst transmissions between Dima and his handlers in Kiev. He was in Iran as well. Why was Dima in Iran with the Russians? 